So this is the little bit of technology that we're going to use so that the dome light will act or behave more like a modern vehicle. So you, like you know with your with your modern car that you have you get in the car, the dome light's on, you close the door, the dome light doesn't automatically turn off. Maybe it gives you 10, 20 seconds of light and then it fades out. It allows you to find your keys, find the parking pass, find your your receipt, whatever you need to get. Um, so you don't have to leave the door open or you, have to, you don't have to fumble around looking for the dome switch to turn the light on. So this little bit of circuitry will do that for us even in our classic cars so what it's got is a bunch of, a bunch of inputs so it's it takes uh, input from 12 volt positive constant on it takes an input from the door switch uh, it takes an input from the ignition lead and also and then it sends it out to the actual dome light and it allows you to keep your original all right in an effort to uh, make this a little clearer uh, I've broken out the schematic so sorry if this gets a little dry but uh, wanted to make sure that everyone understood what I was talking about uh, on the vehicle so that wiring loom bundle that I referred to is in the engine bay it's behind the coil the ignition coil so there's a bunch of uh, bullet connectors on this wiring bundle and uh, the firewall side is the, is the top side, the side that goes uh, into the wiring loom and then into the car. The other side goes down under the vehicle. So ground wire, okay, so that's simple. I just connect that to a chassis ground. The red wire. Uh, that one goes to the firewall side of that bundle, the purple wire of the firewall side. So you disconnect those bullet connectors and then uh, splice that uh, red wire into the purple wire. The blue wire connects to the purple white wire on the firewall side. That one gets the signal when you open and close the door. The yellow wire gets connected to the underbody purple wire. So that other side of that purple wire that goes under the car, connect the yellow wire to that one. The next one was a little bit tricky uh, to figure out initially, but um, on the MGC, the purple white wire is the ground, obviously. So you need to connect the uh, leftover purple white wire that comes uh, up from the underbody side connect that to a chassis ground. The white wire goes to switched ignition, so that's pretty easy. Um, a convenient place to use for this connection is any of the open uh, terminals on the green side of the fuse box. So I'll show you a picture on the next slide that explains that a little bit better. The green wire on this dome light dimmer is not used on the MGC, so don't worry about that one. Okay, here in the picture, uh, I just showed a close-up of the fuse box, so the green uh, wires obviously are connected to what I refer to as the green side of the fuse box, so that is a uh, switched ignition side. You technically could connect it to the white side on the bottom there, but um, that would be unfused. On the right side of the picture, you see the two wires that are um, of concern in the wiring bundle, the purple wire and the purple white wire. The uh, left side of the picture is the firewall side or the, the upper side and the right side of the picture shows the uh, underbody side, the side that goes, the wires go underneath the body of the car. All right, when connecting, now we're gonna make all the connections for this dome light uh, dimmer circuitry. This yellow line that comes out needs to go to the um, go out to the dome, the the positive of the dome switch. So that's the purple, which is right down here. There's a purple line that's going underneath the car, and that is the one that you need to connect to the yellow. The purple and white one that goes underneath the car that you just need to ground out. 
So I'll connect that to a vehicle ground. The purple and white that comes out of the, uh, the front, the chassis, here it goes through the firewall. That one connects to the blue wire from the uh, circuit, circuit. And then the purple that comes out of the chassis goes to red. So that's constant power. The purple with white is the door switch. The purple out down underneath the car goes to the uh, positive of the uh, light, the dome switch, on the dome light. And then the negative is the purple and white that goes underneath the car. And then the other one that they have, you have to connect is uh, over here. I have it connected to my uh, ignition bus and that's the white wire that comes out of the circuit board uh, for the dimmer. And that goes to uh, an ignition source. And then there's a black wire that comes out and that black wire comes and uh, connects up here to my uh, negative, my common bus, which is up here. That's it, it's all wired up. So I got uh, the blue wire connected here, red, yellow, and then the negative connected. I still have to do uh, all these other bullet connectors I'm gonna replace with these, these uh, clip-on ones in the future. But um, that's it. So I'll show you how it works. Okay, so when you have uh, the door open and the light on um, and you close the door, I'm just going to simulate that by just pushing in on the, on the door button here in the door jam um, instead of actually closing the door. But um, when you close the door and there's a delay, so the light will stay on and then it'll slowly start to fade out. And you open the door back up. It comes on. And then if you close the door, I'm not gonna, I don't have three hands, so I'm not gonna do it right now, but if I were to close the door right now and then turn the ignition switch on, instead of delaying um, for the 10 or so 15 seconds that it delays, um, the unit would immediately go out once the ignition switch is pressed on. And then if I were to, the third thing it does is that if you, if you leave the door open, instead of leaving the light on after 20 minutes, it'll turn the light off. So you don't drain your battery down. That's it. It's a pretty simple install. And, um, I know it's, it's not a big deal, but, um, you know, if you want a little bit more usefulness out of your car at night, then it's a, it's an option.